Alright, you're without. This is Chronicles of a Not Yet Champion Golfer. I was going to start off and show you some stretches, but I'm not. I'm going to show you this. Look at me little mate here. Alright, so that's it. That's what this video is about. It's about praying mantises and how they stick to walls. Um, it's not. This video is about swing speed. I've carried on doing the stuff I was doing before that you've shown on the previous video about the swing speed training. But these are some of the stretches. So I realised a few things well, last month when I was in Dubai. Randomly in the gym, Rafa Cabrera Bello was in there. I was speaking to him about a couple of things I was doing in my swing and, and he must have spent 45 minutes, 50 minutes talking me through things that I can do to help achieve getting in certain positions. Um, and I'd done quite a bit of work whilst I was out there with Alan Walters as well, which is it was a, a you know golf specific trainer who's absolutely superb. The stuff I've got to work on. So these are just a few of the stretches that I've been doing to try and get me, well, help me get my golf swing in better positions. Um, you can do them at home, dead easy. I know that looks like it shouldn't be difficult, but it is. That's a joke. A lot of my training in the past, and I've said it before on videos, I've gone to the gym. And I've done exercises that I feel like I should do, but not really knowing, not really having the knowledge of the stuff that is going to help me out specific to my golf swing. And this might be different for everyone, depending on what you swing it like, but I've always gone because I feel like I should. A lot of my exercises have been all, really all push exercises. So chest press, curls, shoulder press, all sort of front big muscles. All the strength was forward. Shoulders become rounded that way which causes issues in my golf swing. Talking about being rounded shouldered, so my shoulders are forwards like that, is if I get to the top there, and my shoulders, they want to be in that position, so it goes that way. You can see the way the handle goes forward, elbow goes out, and from there, I'm struggling. I'm struggling to get the club online with what I want to do, and my whole goal with my swing at the moment was trying to shallow it. Very difficult. If this shoulder's set forward, you can't get that elbow in front. It just doesn't happen. That elbow always sticks behind. It comes in there and you have to back up to hit it. So from a position I was trying to get into, it was almost impossible because physically I just couldn't. I feel like now my shoulder's more set and I still need to work on it. But I feel like my scapula is engaged here and it can hold the muscles at the back. I get in strong enough to be able to hold my shoulders back. From there, I can stay in that position and I can just swing through. Keep in turning that without that shoulder coming in so much. A few of the exercises to help that. Stretchy band, pulled out in front of you. I like to go quite middle with it because it's quite a stretchy one, this. Just stretch it back. Really feel like those scapular muscles, the lower shoulder blades are engaged at the, at the end of the exercise. So there, pull the shoulders down create a bit of strength in that back that's going to allow you to control the shoulders and help pull them back so I'm set more that way in an extreme mode. Now a few of the other things that I do actually at home I've got TRX bands, TRX straps, put them on the door, tie this through the loop, loopy loop, pull it and then I can actually pull that way on it, similar sort of exercise and you can do that with the TRX. What are you doing, Pav? You want to go? Next one. Help just create a bit of shoulder mobility. It allows me that rotation in the shoulder to get that move. So the top of the backswing, that move. Allows me just to be able to lay that club down even more. The more I can get this right elbow forward, the right hand behind it, the more the club's going to be laid down. Every exercise I do, and try and set my shoulders first so that the shoulder blades are quite low, scapula's engaged, set it back. And again, that's something I need to improve on because in golf posture, I want to be able to get that right hand further back that way. I want to get it to 90 degrees really to allow that top of the backswing position to be in that place so I can get the club laid down and on plane. And finally, just something I'll do, he's just mopped the floor though. Damien, whose house this is, he's like the most fussy person in the world. So if he gets like a little bit of dirt anywhere, he's fuming. And that's Damien. He's mopping. You just mop that, mate, yeah? Yeah, mop down here. Don't tell him. Feet forward. Lower back. Make sure lower back pressed up against the wall. This is hard. This one there, I need to improve this because this 
allows you to get a bit of sort of stretch in the back to allow you to get extension at the top of the backswing. And if you can't get there, you can't get the club as deep as you want on the backswing, you're not going to be able to create as much power. This is key to gaining that swing speed. So feet forward, lower back against the wall, press it up against, head against the wall, arms up, and you're trying to push your arms up as much as possible, as high as you can. It's so difficult. I know that looks like it shouldn't be difficult, but it is, that's a joke. First thing I want to do is lower back to come off the wall. But creates such a good stretch, but it's horrible. Wow, I'm horrendous at this. You can tell where I need to get better. But this is good because I think it gives me more room. Feels like I'm going to get more swing speed if I can improve these areas. As I said, I've been going to the gym all the time, but not doing this stuff enough. Last couple of weeks I have since I've learned about it, but it's something that I would definitely recommend going to see someone that can sort of analyse your golf swing and work on the areas of your body that need to be worked on to allow yourself to get the golf, the golf club in a better position. No, okay. So there are just a few, just a few examples of the stuff that I've been doing at home. Just a few of the stretches. In the gym now, I've started working a lot more, and this isn't just because Phil Mickelson's calves, but I've been working a lot more on my calves because it was funny speaking to Rafa when I was in the gym and he said to me, do you know what the number one biggest contributing muscle to gaining swing speed is? And I thought maybe the glutes through pressing up through the ground or... Um, you know, a lot of people said upper body, which is surprising, but it's actually the calves. And again, something I hadn't really worked. When people say skip leg day, that was me. So I've started doing that more now. Uh, I'm going to go on to the golf course now, do some work. Dog over there. There he is. See there. All right. Saying good morning to his mate. Again, distracted. Going to go to the golf course. Hit some shots, warm up, and see if my swing speed's gone up. Right, come on, absolutely smash it. Oh. Thanks for watching. Go to the gym. See you next Tuesday. It's a different sign off, wasn't it?